Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54th Chief of Engineers and Head of the Army Corps of Engineers. And I want to welcome you to National Engineers Week. And the theme of this week is, let's make a difference. When you think about engineers and you think about America, you know, our country's been around for 240 years, but our Corps of Engineers have been around for 241 years. Engineers have continued to make this country a great place. And I want to talk a little bit about today about engineers who have served in the past, engineers that are now serving, and the next generation of engineers. When you think about all the engineering that's been done in the past, today I'm standing in the National Building Museum, built in 1881, but it's right here in Washington, D.C. And this goes back to George Washington and his vision of D.C. and everything he did as a great supporter of engineers to be able to help set this city up. And over the years, the Corps of Engineers has built an awful lot of stuff in D.C., but you think about some of the unbelievable accomplishments we made, whether it's the westward expansion, charting out to America and be able to do all of our geospatial engineering, working all of our inland waterways to be able to help the economy, and of course supporting our war fighters across the entire world, whether in World War I, World War II, uh, to be able to continue to take care of those engineering feats. Construction of the Panama Canal, the Manhattan Project, NASA facilities. Engineers have continued to step up when this nation needed them to be able to continue to make America safe but you also to be able to energize the economy. So we stand today on the shoulders of all those great engineers who have gone before us. Now to all of you, you're living in today, and that's what's really, really critical is to figure out, are you making a difference today? Think of all the challenges we've had. We just went through a new administration change. There's a lot of requirements this country has to try to fund, and we will not have enough money to be able to take care of all the requirements that face our nation. So what we need to do is have innovative people who can find ways of continuing to meet that requirement, but be able to do that in a sustainable way, and at the same time, trying to save the taxpayers a little bit of money. So the challenges we have to continue to address our aging infrastructure, we have a lot, a lot of old infrastructure in America, our bridges, our roads, our airports, our inland waterways. How are we finding innovative ways to be able to invest in those to be able to expand the lifespan of them or to be able to make them more resilient. Think about sustainability in the environment. What are we doing to really be able to take care of making sure that America is green and we're taking care of uh, uh, anything we can do to prevent sea level rise or climate change? So you have a big challenge on your shoulders and what you've really got to do as engineers is deliver. When we get asked to do something, engineers need to step up and make a difference. And let's think about the next generation. The most important part of the next generation is making sure that we have somebody who can follow in our footsteps. So think about those children that are sitting out there in grade schools and middle schools and high schools right now. What are we doing to inspire them to be willing to step up to be able to take care of America? And even on the hard engineering side, are we doing enough work in our laboratories, in our R&D efforts, and the way that we're building to know that at some given point, we can find good solutions for America to be able to continue to take care of uh, relieving pressure on the budget or making a better America a better place. So this is a great week. Uh, we really have an unbelievable amount of activities around the United States to be able to share. But I would just want to thank you for everything you've done to continue to make America uh, one of the most premier engineering countries in the world. Every day we end everything we say in the Army with Army strong, building strong, but it's the engineers of the United States that have made America strong. Thanks for a great week.